Uh, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Spain and they take on Costa Rica. Well thanks Derek, this is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope to see some great football today. Here's the lineup for Spain. Carvajal starts with Jordi Alba in the fullback positions. Dani Olmo plays with Ferran Torres out wide. And Morata is the main striker for this match. And here's the starting 11 for Costa Rica. Well, it's a solid system defensively, a back five and a midfield four, but it does leave their lone striker isolated. So it's important they break forward quickly when they do regain possession. And the game begins. Morata, Koke. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, between 2008 and 2012, Spain were right up there with the very best of international teams. They had their barren spell after that, but you know, Stuart, green shoots of recovery were visible at the last European Championship when they were perhaps unlucky not to make it to the final. You're absolutely... Oh, wait a minute. They could well be in. And that is precisely what he does. Clinical, masterful. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And what a strike from Morata. He just smashes it past the keeper. That's a top-class finish. Nil then. For Spain, number seven, Morata. Celso Borges. Really a very poor ball. Pedri. Morata had to come up with the ball. And did. Benete. Pedri. Morasa. Jordi Alba. Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That's strong play. Pedri. Morasa. On borderline offside, but correct. <laughs> J. 
Gerson Torres. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Crossing possibilities. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. And the counter looks on here. Options available. A terrific pass. Cleared away comprehensively. This might have potential. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Now potential danger. Kaiser Fuller. And he could be in proper trouble here. And it's still on for him. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Oh, marvellous stuff from Morata, you've got to say, in the first 45. What did you make of his performance? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, Interesting to see how this second half pans out. Options in the centre. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Oh, he's given it away. What can they do to stop him running at them? Celso Borges. And played in. Plattered away. That's really good and effective physical play. Well, Spain aren't controlling the possession here. But that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Yes, a really effective performance all in all. Could be threatening. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Jewison Bennett. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Well, he failed to get it away properly. And problem solved for now. Danny Olmo. Now Jordi Alba. 20 minutes to go in this one. Sergio Busquets. Coque. Okay. Oh, surely! And the goal is his. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. Goal! So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. He's letting it go as they keep the ball. And they have possession again. Well, high marks for that pass. He could pick out a teammate. And the referee has given them a corner. And time for the change now.
favouring the short one Busquets it's with Laporte Laporte Pedri in it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. about the outcome surely they now have been removed so two minutes of stoppage time here Yeltsin Tejeda there it is the final whistle disappointment in the camp because it goes into the books as a defeat Stuart well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. Well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, that performance summed him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.